Two million American children live in homes with guns that are not stored responsibly. Even if you don't have a gun in your home, someone you know does. This has the Tri-States on heightened alert after multiple accidental shootings locally in just the past two years. The story many are familiar with is the tragic death of seven-year-old Quincy girl Melina Torres. Now it happened in May of 2016. A three-year-old child held the gun that shot and killed Torres in a house near Beverly, Illinois. The girl's mother, grandmother and uncle were convicted in connection to the child's death. Recently, a four-year-old shot his father in the arm this past September in Menden. The Adams County Sheriff calls the event a freak accident. The man had put his handgun in a vehicle when the child ran up and fired the shot. And just this past Saturday, a three-year-old died in Arkansas. Police say the mother found her baby boy lying on the floor in a bedroom, a gunshot wound to his head. According to a study published in the journal Pediatrics, nearly 1,300 children die of gunshot wounds each year. Now, the concern on many parents' mind, how would my child react to finding a firearm? KHUA is working for you tonight to find out what happens when kids find guns in this exclusive in-depth report. KHQA reached out to the Tri-States for parents with young children. We had two families who gave consent to show their kids on air. We placed multiple hidden cameras in their homes. While these kids thought they were just clearing their table for their parents, Quincy Police Sergeant Adam Yates, Mom and I were watching and waiting. For this story, we're using a Glock 43 semi-automatic 9mm handgun. This is very common for home defense as well as concealed carry purposes. Not only did we make sure that the weapon was not loaded, there is no magazine inserted, we also removed the firing pin so it's impossible for this weapon to fire. Our first scenario involves two sisters. The family is not familiar with firearms. They're not in the house. And mom doesn't think her daughter's friends have firearms in their homes. Our second family is a different case. Two boys, two girls, ranging from ages 6 to 11. Dad has at least one firearm in the home, and the family has had conversations about what to do when a gun is around. What do you do? To get some perspective, KHQ reached out to more than 20 area schools. St. Francis Alanis Grade School in Quincy was the only one who agreed to put its students to the test. I would check it and then set it back down and run off. What are you checking? Checking to see if there's any bullets in the ammunition. Now, there are no hidden cameras here. The scenario at school came with two conditions. No students would come in contact with the firearm. In the gun cabinet. Wait, well, you have a gun you have a So gun. you know where the gun cabinet's at? Yes. And students would only participate in a Q&A with parents' written permission. Almost everybody has seen a gun in real life. Yes. Is that, is that true? While the kids in this classroom seem to know what to do if faced with an unfamiliar firearm, coming face to face with the real deal is another story. I think they're a little shocked that, you know, they didn't touch it, which is great. But at the same time, they didn't come get me and say, Mom, what is this? So I think we need to have a little conversation with them. There, she's looking her nose. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Did they see it? I think so. Yeah. I guess it tells me that they're listening and that... Um, Did you touch it? I don't know, that they're putting it into practice and it gives me confidence, like even if it was just them with a group of friends, that they would be the one to step up and do something about it. So I was really proud that my six-year-old said something. Parents have got to have conversations with their kids about firearms. It only takes one mistake, one accident, for something tragic to happen and somebody's life changed forever. Heaven forbid a life ends because of that. We've got to keep our kids safe.